Hi, my name is Lauren Fleming, and I am with the Health Promotion Program as a Clinical Director as part of the Healthy Athletes Program. So welcome to this year's Special Olympics Virtual Games. It's too bad we couldn't join in, in games the way that we usually do, but we're really happy that we can still get some time to interact with you, even if it is virtually. So for those who might not be aware of what Health Promotion does, is the Health Promotion program often attends some of the sporting events and we set up some stations. And at those stations we do ask you some questions just to learn more about the athletes and what their health is like. But in, in these events too we have some really great interactive displays and activities to allow you to learn some ways to stay healthy. And that's for being healthy now as well as into the future. So now what you might be focusing on is how to maybe improve your health for your sports or how to stay strong, how to stay energized, and eating the right foods and, and up some other health tips can really help you do that. But it's also important that we make healthy changes now if we need to, to really help us into the future as well. Especially maybe if you have things that run in your family like heart disease or diabetes. So since we couldn't join you in person this year, I wanted to share some tips with you on this video. So I'm going to share three major tips with you today and just give you maybe a little bit of homework to try out as well. So my first tip, tip number one, excuse my not very good artwork here, is to stay hydrated. So especially now that we're coming into the summer, it's even more important. So you want to be having at least 8 to 10 glasses of fluid every single day. And if we're sweating, you want to be drinking even more. A really good tip and an easy way to know if maybe you're not getting enough is when you go to the washroom, when you go pee, and you notice that your pee is really, really yellow, you're probably not drinking enough. So what should you be drinking? The best thing to drink is water. Drink mostly water. Our body is made up of a lot of water, so we do want to replace that. What you do want to avoid having very often is your pop and your juice, as well as things like Gatorades and the sports drinks. Those have lots of sugar in them, and most of us you know, don't need those Gatorades and sport drinks very often. Water is going to be the best thing to hydrate us. So what's wrong with all that sugar? Well, that sugar isn't so good to have, isn't very good for our overall health. It's not going to really help us to manage a good weight, and it doesn't really give us some good fuel for, for a long period of time. It gives us this big up and this big down in energy. And it's also not very good for our teeth either, or even our heart health. So again, water is your best choice to stay hydrated, really limit the pop, limit the juice, and limit the sports drinks. So that brings us to tip number two. So tip number two is to stay sun safe. So again, of course, since it's summer, we really enjoy being outside, um, really enjoying the sun, especially if you're sports outside, you might be outside for you know, quite a lot practicing. So the problem is though, is that the sun can also damage our skin, it can damage our eyes over time. So you want to make sure that before you go out that you're preparing and that you're um, taking those precautions to keep yourself safe. So what's the number one thing to do? Wear sunscreen. So make sure any part of your body that would be exposed to that sun, you're putting sunscreen on. So that's your face, your arms, your legs. Make sure that you you know stop yourself from getting sunburned and reapply throughout the day as you, if you're especially if you're sweating because you're going to be um, rinsing some of that sunscreen off. Other really important um, sun, sun safe tips would be to wear sunglasses. And sunglasses will protect your eyes. So actually your eyes can get damaged from the sun as well. So on really bright days, you want to make sure uh, that you are wearing, wearing sunglasses to um, prevent your eyes from getting damaged from the sun. And lastly, hats. Hats are a great way to protect the face from getting sunburned, maybe even protect the ears a little bit. And also it's going to protect your eyes as well. So, when it comes to sunscreen, one extra tip is, is that you don't just want to wear sunscreen on the super, super sunny days when it's really, really hot. Even if it is a little bit overcast, if it is a little bit cool, we can still get burned by the sun. So when you are going to spend long time, a long time outside or um, it is, again, really sunny, you want to make sure that you're wearing sunscreen. But even if you're going to be out for a while and it doesn't seem super sunny out, still a good idea to apply some sunscreen on your skin. And then finally, we have our tip number three, and that is to fuel up. So that means fuel your body well. You want to make sure that you're keeping yourself strong, you're keeping yourself healthy for your sport as well as for your health into the future. And so how can we do that? We can do that by following Canada's food guide. 
So this is the new Candice food guide and you'll see it looks like a plate. So basically we want to try to be in our day, we want to be eating uh, foods from these three food groups that we see here and I'm going to go over all of them today. So our first food group here is our protein group. So that's things like our meat, things like chicken or beef, also things like fish, beans and lentils, tofu, eggs, yogurt, all those are sources of protein. And protein is really important for building our muscles. It helps to keep our body strong, also our organs strong. So proteins are going to be really, really helpful for you for that. Then we have our grain group. So that's things like our pastas, rice, bread, um, things like our cereal we might have in the morning. So with those products, you want to try to choose those more often that have fiber or that are whole grain. And that means that they have more nutrition for your body and fiber to help keep your heart healthy and help, help keep everything regular as well. So your whole grains are the best choice for overall health. And grains themselves are really important to help give you energy. Energy to get through your day when you're at school, energy to help you get through your sport as well. And then finally, leaving the best for last, we have our, our fruits and vegetables. So our vegetables and fruits, or fruit and vegetable group, take up about half the plate. So that means you wanna be eating lots of vegetables and fruits in your day. They should be something that you're getting in more of than your proteins or your grains. All right, so when it comes to vegetables and fruits, you can enjoy them in a variety of ways. They could be raw, they could be cooked, they could be canned as well if that's what fits in your, in your family's budget the best. If you are choosing canned vegetables, it is best to, to rinse them off before you eat them. And for canned fruits, it would be best to buy the ones canned in water and not canned in juices. For fresh vegetables, the more the merrier, the more the variety, the better. Whatever you do enjoy for fresh vegetables, same thing with fresh fruits. And then when it comes to cooked, same thing. If that's your preference, then eat them cooked. Any way you want to enjoy them, fresh, raw, cooked, is a good way to have them. Now what about frozen? Frozen are just as healthy as fresh, and so they're great. They can be a great budget-friendly option as well, and super quick for meals as well. So when it comes to your fruits and vegetables, they are going to be really, really important for your heart health for now and into the future. They also have a lot of really important vitamins that help to keep your immune system strong. So basically prevent you from getting sick and also hopefully prevent you from getting you know, diabetes in the future, um, uh, uh, risk, lowering the risk of heart disease as well as some cancers as well. So a lot of help for disease prevention in the future to help keep you healthy as well as benefit now to your immune system. They're also a great way to keep your weight more managed too because they are really, really filling but they're not really heavy foods. So they could be a great way to help keep your weight more balanced too and help keep you at a healthy weight which is also really helpful for your sport and also helpful for your health into the future. So now I'm going to give you my challenge during this, uh, the next week or so. So my challenge for you is to add some color to your lunch. So basically that means add some fruits and or vegetables into your lunch meals every day. So that could be maybe an apple, um, maybe slicing up an orange and having that to go with your lunch. Maybe it's some leftover vegetables from the night before from dinner. Or maybe you're going to slice up a pepper, make a salad, whatever it is that you like. All right, so my tip to you and my challenge to you is to try to throw a fruit or vegetable into your diet at lunch or into your meal at lunch. Now, if you don't love apples just whole, maybe you can try slicing it up into pieces and adding some cinnamon on top. Maybe if you're not a big fan of uh, vegetables, you could try them different ways. So if you've never tried them off the barbecue, maybe see if, if your family member can barbecue them, you can try them that way. For raw vegetables, maybe throw um, some hummus dip with them and see what you think about that. Um, maybe try a different dressing with your salad and, and switch it up a little bit if you're tired of the way that you normally have it. So it's, you, know, you can always try some different ways to eat the vegetables and fruits and maybe that's going to be a way that you might add a few more options into your diet if you're not a big fan of fruits and vegetables. But oftentimes it really comes to trying them more and having them more often. So again, my tip and my challenge for you is to add some color to your lunch, add some vegetables and fruits. 
So that brings me to the end of my tips for you today. And I really, really do hope that you have a wonderful time at your virtual games this year and good luck. Thank you for participating and uh, we hope to see you in person next year. Take care. Bye.